So after that, well, rage, rage, ragey, la round one, where I held in a lot of it, because we just got mana screwed, and our cards were more powerful, and just beat us with white weenie, and it's really, really unfortunate. Um, so hopefully we do better round two. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, it's going to start any second now, but for you guys, I'm just going to pause it and then restart it. Okay, here we are. Let's hopefully stomp some face, because it's been kind of pathetic, my cube record here. Uh, this is keepable. I'm not going to mulligan this. We could go turn one Garrick. Which can be okay. Turn one Planeswalker is not bad. I think turn one Garrick's okay. You start the game off with an emblem. Put a 2 2 into play at the beginning of your first main phase. I would not like to pay two life. Attack for two. Poop out two keys. Turn one planeswalkers. Pretty saucy. Gare can also fight if this was a creature, but it's not. Eternal witnessing that back can be pretty pretty good if we uh, get a second forest. Oh, Garrick. We do need a second green. We can't always get to a point where we sack a creature, search for a creature. Oh, that's really good. We could have eternal witnessed getting back Black Lotus and played a Wolf or Silver Heart, but I'm gonna save it for next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna save it just in case we want to. Like, if he has a wrath effect here, he goes land wrath of god. We couldn't have done it anyway. Faith sweaters my Garrick. Okay. So we just kill him then, right? We have almost lethal? No, we, we don't have lethal yet. We do have a lot, though. Yes, that wolf is now big. We get him to three. So if he plays a Wrath now, we Eternal Witness back Wolf or Silver Heart or something like that. We could get Witness Lotus, but I mean he has to have actual Wrath of God or Damnation here if he goes Swamp Damnation. Otherwise, turn one Garrick. It does, does, does work. Yeah. So it's white, black, weenie-esque. We saw one that was, like, pro-black. Half tempted to bring in this Catastrophe again. Just seems like he was on the slower side. But Plow Under seems okay against him. I think we're just going to stick with what we have. I didn't see anything to make me want to change my mind. I mean, that. 
was just that was just why Black Lotus is so very powerful, and why Fast Man is good, because it just lets you ramp so hard into good cards. Also seems like Melt will be okay against him. Given we have drawn Black Lotus two out of our three games, that feels a little bit broken. This card is so good. The rest of our deck is has Jace and stuff. This is keepable. It has cards we can cast. I would not like to mull them. Turn one breeding pool, turn two Rafelos. So he can't level it and kill our guy in time. We level here and attack. If he casts another spell, we can go turn to Rafelos without fear. If he just levels next turn, he could level and kill Rafelos. Which I'm not sure if I want him to do that. It's that second swamp for it. I could try and bait him out with the tree speaker. Tree speaker and Rafelos basically are gonna do the same thing. One's a two, one, one's a one, two. I think if he wants to just kill Rafelos, he can kill Rafelos. Hmm. What do I bait it out with the tree speaker? I think I'm going to bait it out with the Tree Speaker next turn and just cast a Trigon Predator. That delayed Tree Speaker. So if he goes Swamp, Level, Kill. Okay, so he had Swamp. So we're just going to cast a Trigon Predator next turn. Could cast Awakening Zone too. Trigon Predator into Wolf or Silver Hunt, okay. Yep, I'm gonna kill it. Try and kill this one. Two or three. He could level it twice if he gets another swamp. But then he just has a 4 4. And then we go Land, Wolf Fellows, Arbor Elf. And get to a point where we can definitely wolf or silver heart or trigon predator and just kill him in the air. This is just like a removal spell. My trigon predator, life bane, zombie. Pretty brutal, actually. Gets to get rid of our wolf or silver heart, probably. Yep, that is really bad for us. So it doesn't draw any planeswalker really. And planeswalker doesn't do too much against life and zombies, to be honest. I'm not gonna show him that we have the planes. Attack with Trigon Predator. Bouncing his gold dress assassin might be might be the correct play if we could draw Jace. Okay, so he has three black sources, so he can level level kill Trigon Predator if he wants. That 
kind of life things on, we probably just won him the game. Because the fact that we couldn't resolve a silver heart on a Triumph Predator is so incredibly rough. So what would I like to draw? Yes. Um, not forest. Anything but forest, really. Or lands. So again, we're gonna be stuck, uh... Be a man of flood. We drew an arbor elf, I think. And tree speaker on turn two. We drew mana dorks when we needed action spells. Uh, Plains moat would be a good set of draws. Jace would be a good one. Either Jace, really. That's an easy block. Erebos. Okay, give an Erebos. I can't do mine. Sure, deck. Sure. More lands. Not even in the combination of our apps. Um. So he's gonna cast another blacks and have an uh, uh Airbus as a creature, is my guess. Brexian Obliterator. Well, that's an annoying one. So we definitely bring in Rathigod, apparently. Yep, he got there. No actions, but oh, Black Lotus Moat. There it is. Pity we were already dead. Um, so bringing in Catastrophe, taking out. What do I want to take out, really? Plowhunter seems pretty good against him. Dungeon Geist seems good. I guess I'll take out no encounter spell just because it's so man intensive. I think I want another planes for. Same reason as before. Hope we do something broken like Black Lotus Moat. Turn one. I don't think he can beat Black Lotus Moat. We didn't see any flyers, we just saw dorky creatures. I would like to play first. This hand is keepable. We're gonna hold on to the Black Lotus though, no mulligans. Turn one tree speaker, turn two, level play Rafelos. He's mulligan to six. I would love to draw something to cast with this Black Lotus that's not a dungeon, guys. 
gas will drive the car. That is not a bad one. The question is, do I actually cast it this turn? Or I can wait one turn for him to level it. I'm gonna wait one turn for him to level it. That way when I play Garrick, I can just fight it and kill it. Or I can just hard cast Garrick and save the Black Lotus for later. That's not bad either. So we have two, three, four, five. Level it, level it, level it. Yes. Fantastic. So Garrick just killing that is gonna probably get us there. Kill that thing. Yeah, we'll start peeking out one of death death touch tokens, but it's not that bad. We can't always sack one of our creatures to search out a different creature. But I mean we don't have blue for Etherling. Oh we could just cast Etherling next turn. But if he has removal spell, then we then we don't get there. Not that button. So we get Pelucanos, Wolfear, what's he have? Vindicate. So he vindicates our Garrick. Eternal Witness back Garrick. Cast it. Get a 2-2. Two -two. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So you don't have enough to do both. So I think I just cast internal witness. And then we'll put a counter on this. Still holding on to the lotus. Since these are all elves, getting elves to control tap tap at green green is not bad. Vampire Nighthawk. I have the odd feeling Garrick is going to fight that thing. That seems better. Level two, three, four, five, have one floating. Tap for two, four, not enough. Value. I think I Lotus. Lotus Tapper Fellows get Garrick. behind now. Back on one land. Yeah, 
we can destroy all lands. But I think I'll do that next turn. Level, level. No, we just get one level on it. Three, four, five, six. So we could catastrophe blow up all lands this coming turn. And then we win. Destroy all creatures. No. And, yeah, that mana destruction, plus a Garrick in play. Nothing like having three lands and a Black Lotus all game. And these. I do have the right number of lands, right? Why am I only playing 16 lands? I should have 17. That's incorrect on my end. Okay, well, see you guys next round.